Hey there everyone and welcome back to Penny Arcade on the Rainflick Precipice of Darkness Let's Play. Last time we left off our intrepid adventures were fighting Oh god! Our intrepid adventures were fighting a bunch of lovely love lovely couples, blah blah blah. My words are not working for me today. Oh crap. <laughs> Bitch be blocking my moves. That's not cool. I don't block your moves. Hey, quit it. Ow. Words hurt in this game. That's something I've been taught. There. See? Good old shotgun. That solves all life's problems. Shotty the Great. You. You're getting a crossbreaker to the face. Let's see if I can finally do... You know, I must have done this attack like nine times and have yet to pull it off successfully. Yay! Not enough to kill him though, sadly, but yeah. So there we go, he's got the bleed effect on him. That should probably take care of him. Oh, you, oh, you come in now and there's only two left. Thanks, St. Clair. Thanks for being, you know, useless. Probably shouldn't mock her in case she decides not to upgrade our weapons. And we need our weapons upgraded. Yeah. Yeah. I love how he tills the ground around him like, there we go, I'm tilling your blood. Sustainable. Shotty, if you wouldn't mind. There we go. Now you may be also now you may be wondering why I uh, ooh, two levels up and another three sticks of dynamite, awesome. No, but some people might be wondering. I'm I'm saying that because I know none of you will be. Why haven't we headed back? Why haven't we head back to you know Anne Claire's house with the um golden bolt? Because there's something else we can do here. There's something we can still do, and that is um well two things we can do actually. The gate is locked because I'm willing to keep people like me out. Oh shit! Yes, there's this lovely couple here. We can take them down, but we will in just a second. But first, but first, but first, but first is our final cash receipt we'll need for later. There is um, also one of the tulips we need. And I believe I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. Another piece of concept art. I guess they're not here yet. That's odd. Okay, attempt another comment quiz there. What exactly is this woman saying to our party members that hurts them psychologically and physically? Best answer gets an honourable mention. In fact, any answer gets an honourable mention. Someone comment on my videos or I'll hurt you. I won't really hurt you because I don't know where you live. Or maybe that's what I want you to say. Let's decide the point right now because we're killing rich people. The mirror does she sound like she's speaking French? Because it's a well-known fact all rich people can speak French. Not by choice, but they just learn it from birth. If you're going to be rich, you're taught French. Well-known fact. That nobody knows. You! I'm going to hit you with my special attack. Hold still. Da -da -da. Yay! Boom. That's another overkill chalked up for me. Now, I'm not sure whose weapon to upgrade yet. I might upgrade my character's weapon just because I'm a selfish son of a bitch. She blocked bullets by standing there. Huh. Constitution of the Rich, I suppose. Psycho cares not. Go on, game. Punch her in the face. Bleh. There we go. Oh, and Tycho finally gets his second special attack, the Fall of Man. There's a couple more things we can do here, but we'll come back and do them later, because there's a lot we can do now that I've finished here. First off, we have a gold boat for Anne Claire, so let's drop that off. That way I can also check if I can upgrade any weapons.
Now I know it says I haven't fought that many robots, but there's quite a lot of robots later on in that level. In very confined Return spaces. Return to the laboratory in triumph. Gleaming golden bolt in tow. Because we're epic that way. What's up, Anne? You return! It's pretty hard to get. Yes, yes, it would be. She turns it in the light, apparently mesmerized by it. And the other items I requested? I don't wish to be rude, but... The search continues. Let's see. Let's upgrade our weapons. Let's see. Let's upgrade Tycho's gun again. We could, but we don't have the ultimate weapon up. But Gabe's ready to be leveled up, and Gabe gets another epic weapon. Alright, and take it away. Well, could it be a surprise? Could it be a surprise? Is that acceptable? The very moment you turn away, the work begins. Metal parts and is rejoined. I hope you like them. They seem very... Gabriel. Machete hands! These blades are forged from sweet steel, a truly extreme substance. Gabriel looks at the blades, then to Anne Claire. Wordlessly, carefully, he hugs her. <laughs> yep. Gabe now has machetes on his hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now, next thing, next thing, next thing we have to do is head back to the Clawing Order Sanitarium. Because we have enough flowers for Pearl! And a few other things. If you remember as we were fighting off those insane rich people, some of them dropped chocolate. Well, this chocolate... Is something you also need to give to Pearl, which is probably why I didn't just head back. How dear old Pearl is doing. Perhaps these flowers will brighten her day. Perhaps they bloody don't have knocking her dead. Bitch making us kill a bunch of people, getting more murder on our rap sheet. If anything, she just added jail time. You bitch. The woman at the desk is smiling. Hello again, Pearl. Pearl only beams expectantly. Let's see. No, seriously, take it. She inhales deeply, deriving a full nanosecond of pleasure, and pushes him away. She looks at the clock and smacks her lips several times. Yes, I always do get a bit peckish after lunch. Uh. Now, you could just give her the chocolates, but you can't yet, so what you have to do is wait for this box to fall, pick it up, Talk to Pearl. Let's see. Hello again, Pearl. Pearl only beams expecting like that. How about a box of chocolates? Oh, they look. They look so. She reaches into the box carefully, as a surgeon might reach into an exposed chest cavity. She places one of the candies in her mouth, and then another, and another. Incredible! Super incredible! Let's see, what do I want now? Oh, for Christ's sake. No pleasing this hag! What did you say? He said, have you seen my book bag? No. Eh. Does he even work here? You know, Chandler, Dr. Chandler, Dr. Lord Chandler Wolfington, still the best name ever. Used to make me feel like a million dollars. Gabriel turns each of you away from the desk, forming an impromptu huddle. Hell yeah! Now this bitch wants a million dollars? I'm gonna kick her for the fucking upright. Hell yeah, I'm sure it was a euphemism. You think she has a lung disease? Yeah, she has lung disease. Alright. Now, if you talk to Curtis Swindle, he has a bracelet for sale, but it's for like 17 million dollars. He also has something else for sale that we'll need. And he also had the rings that the mime had lost. Apparently he stole them from the mime. Now that you've talked to Carl, Pearl, you have to actually go back to the Riverbrook Estates again and re-murder everything. That's right, re-murder everything. We're not just committing murder, we're re-committing murder. What's up, dude? I don't know, just chillin' then. It's all good. But now the enemies have changed into foppish brutes! Let us take them. Yes, we are ne'er do wells, my good friend. Ne'er do wells indeed. Take this. Look, Jennings, lower class. Hopefully, this water will. Ow! In fact, throw large ba bags of money at. Oh, God! In fact, throw large 
large balls of money at you as an attack. I don't know, but I wouldn't mind being attacked by these rich people that men getting paid large, large ass sums of money thrown at me. The glove connection! The only connection with the butt of my rifle! Oh no! No, you Ow! Ah, bitch! Ah, oh, damn! Aha. Uh -huh. Now we're almost out of time once again, so I think I'll just cut the video here. I apologize it seems to get cut in mid-fight, but that's the kind of game it is. You're either cut mid-talking or mid-fight. Well, see you guys next time.